Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk to you a little, about, a little bit about key profiles and what all you can do to maximize your button usage and what your different keys will do on, on different windows from, from macros to palettes to whatever, whatever you want to kind of do with them and however you want them to act. So on your Titan program, what you're going to do is you're going to go to open workspace window and user settings and you're going to go down here to your left side and you're going to see key profiles what you're going to do and you, there's kind of a little description of kind of what they do and uh, what what this particular profile is and when you click on it it's going to bring up this nice little uh, manage profile screen right here on the on your side and you can do a whole a few different things with that you can view the ones that are there and Ava Lights has a few kind of kind of already started you can see on this first page they're not named run takeover uh, all the way through nightclub and you can see some that I've created for some different things that we do um, the one that they keep you in uh, the majority of the time is program and we'll click on that and you can see here it has certain certain things that your fixtures will do uh, when you click on them certain things that groups will do when you click on them that kind of thing and just kind of kind of through through anything that you'll have that you can use on your screen or on your console and this little quick record is basically just your uh, if you have if we're recording colors like we've shown you in another vi video or any anything along those lines you can just go through and you can double click and record colors so what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll we'll start with editing a profile and you can do you'll have to add a new profile and name it so we're just gonna name it training and they're gonna want you to base it off of another one you can base it off of one you already have or you can base it off of one of those we're gonna base it off of their program uh, just because it's the one everyone is used to and all it's gonna do is you're gonna go through and you're gonna click on each individual one and it's gonna pull up what each individual type of control uh, type of button you might use might be whether it's for uh, for our Perl expert friends and and that line you'll see the black key for anything anything on their uh, more I don't want to say more recent consoles they're more common consoles we'll say it that way you'll really only use blue gray and touch but you can if you want to do something with that or if you just want to just in case disable it you can do that. You can see I've changed it now to disabled for fixtures. The black key does nothing, for, um, and that's that's just a safety precaution you can throw in there. For everything else, it will actually be useful because you you do have those keys on most of your consoles um, that you'll be working with, as well as Titan One. Um, so you can see we're in the blue key right now which is our our swap key usually you can see down here on our cues we have recorded here you can see that the swap key is normally how it is and uh, get back into where I was there we go you can see that the swap key is down there and you can see the flash key is down there those are the functions for if I go to my console and I press the blue key right now because we're in key profiles we're editing key profiles it's gonna 
change up what I'm doing here, so I'm not going to do it now. But if I press my blue, if I press my blue key in any normal time, you'll have it just duck everything out, and you'll just have what's recorded on that cue. So if I just press my blue key on my beam master, all my other lights, all my other movements, everything will go dark, uh, intensity wise at least, and I'll just have what's on that specific key there. So I'll, I'll just have in this case my beam on my Maverick Pixis's uh, will just be showing as we've kind of explained in another video. And that's just that's kind of what it usually does for for cues which we're not in right now. You can see flash flop latch swap flash latch. But that's our normal uh, that's our normal key and what its function is, but you can change that function here for f while we're under this fixtures tab. If you record a fixture to uh, to one of these one of these faders here or a or a touch key like you would normally see your fixtures on uh, for the blue key it'll select you can see they disabled gray key and touch key is also select but you can change that if you want to see I've now changed my blue key to flash and if I have a fixture on one of these my blue key will instead flash and instead of uh, swap like we're normally used to. I think for now we'll uh, we'll leave that on swap just to kind of keep us keep us in line. If you go to your gray key and uh, also on the blue on the blue key as well, but just kind of for going through sake, you can select flash, and that's kind of how they would normally act. If you if I go to press flash on any of these cues down here, it will flash the effect in over what's already happening that kind of deal and for touch key we'll we'll make it let's see we'll make it select because right now it's just if you have a, a fixture on a touch key like you normally would see in our fixtures window over here if I go and press one of these touch keys it will just select that freedom stick there and I can do what I want to within the attribute editor and any of the palettes, that kind of deal. Latch. Latch is more useful for things like shapes, for things like um, for things like what's the best way to put that? So when you have a playback up, we're gonna get out of this. And we'll open our playbacks window. So if I have a playback saved here, which we'll just copy one of these for now, two there. If I have a playback saved on this one and I click on it, you can see that it naturally latches and uh, I'll have to click it again to release it. And that's just kind of how that, that's, that's kind of what you keep in mind for latch on any different. You can see if I press blind, there it will flash if I go to one of these other macros you can see that they latch on and they let go of whatever else kind of corresponds to that that particular attribute you're working with or or macro idea you're working with so we're, we're gonna get back into our user settings our key profiles again and we'll we'll continue on building our our key profile you can see groups groups have a special thing down here that have a, a groups take precedence over flash you can turn that on or off to where it flash takes precedence over group you can see because we're in we're in groups because we're in groups we've got a few other different options here we can put a timed flash master on one of these. We can put a flash master or a timed flash, um, and so it's just a few different, uh, few different options here. You can flash the fixtures if you have a group saved to one of these handles, like you would. You can see you've got flash fixtures there. 
and it can just flash those fixtures on a timed flash which will uh, if you go into your go into your flash time values and change that it'll correspond to that and so on and so forth I believe that's all for those just clicking through to make sure yeah palettes your uh, you can make it to where palettes ignore the times you've saved to them so if you've attributed a a time value to your your palette through opening one of them Let's see if we can do that real quick I can't do that because I'm working on key profiles that's okay essentially what it does is it uh, it will either flash with the time or it will fire with the times that you've assigned to the to the particular palette or it won't depending on whatever you whatever you wanted to do this one it will flash according to the palette or the palette will take precedence it's the same same idea and you can disable a key function if you need to with this with this particular key function um, key profile if you want to do that we're not going to we're going to leave it on the one that most people I think will use are the queues and the queue lists and so on but I think the queues are probably the ones we'll see most so again if you don't have a pearl you can disable that black key and you've still got you've still got a few options here that you don't normally have on on others you've got you still got that flash you've got that timed flash again you've got a latch where you can turn the uh, turn the queue on and leave it on until you click it off or release it if it's a you can click it you can make it to where it goes and starts whatever queue information you have on that playback you can make it to where it preloads and do another button for go if you want to do that you can make it to where it changes the tempo for that you can make it to where it releases where you if I assign this blue key to release I can release that certain queue with this with the blue button I can make it to where it selects if certain uh, certain things are certain what's the word certain conditions are met we'll say it that way uh, the grays are all the same it looks like and it looks like the touches are all the same as well again you'll see most most cues are attributed to that latch function where they click on you have to click them off or, or release them using your release button for chases it's a similar similar idea but you can use them differently as far as if you you can also you have a stop button in your chases as well and a connect button to where you can connect the chase uh, before you press go similar to like a preload but uh, you'll see your your chases down here when you press connect you have a stop button that you can assign one of those same buttons to uh, where it will stop the chase that kind of deal and the rest I think we've seen before just clicking through and making sure we don't have anything new doesn't look like it yeah it looks like those are all the same queue lists will have options similar to similar to your chases you can flash and go to where you'll flash the effect and then it'll, it'll go as long as you hold flash you can time the flash to where it'll uh, go as long as that time is and so on and so forth I think we've gotten most of these you can have a next cue button to where it it either goes up or down so if I assign my blue button and I record a cue list and connect it here I can have my blue button be next cue up uh, or and my gray button be next cue down using these two buttons here 
you can review the live queue that's on you can queue the uh, you can cut and execute to live and you can snap back or go back as well there macros are similar to palettes you can disable you can change their change their importance uh, importance is the wrong word their priority with that button uh, we can set options here where you can turn quick record on and off if you want if you don't want to be able to just create a color and select one of these empty boxes here and record onto it if you wanted to do that you could most people tend to leave it on and you've got your different masters you can go on uh, you can change their key profiles as well meaning you can you can nudge the fader up if you need to you can reset the multiplier say on a BPM master uh, multiply or divide the multiplier you can freeze it to where the master is frozen and won't go up or down looks like we've got some other options selection to where maybe if you have a if you have a group on there you can select the mas the master and it'll select that group as well things like that but it looks like that's the majority of these we'll click through and just make sure yeah they all look the same there so that's a little bit about what what your uh, key profiles can be can be trained to do we have a few we've we, we use a video wall from time to time and I've made a special one for that I'll make one for shapes where I'll I'll latch my shapes on if I want to I'll not latch them just some different different ideas of how to use key profiles and that kind of thing and again Avalites has given you a lot of some a nice variety here of just some basic ones you can you can learn to use if you'd like to and uh, assign them to different different parts of your program whether it be palettes playbacks positions what are what what have you um, but they're nice and useful and ni a nice learning tool for creating your own but uh, thanks for watching and uh, give us a call if you need anything Thank you.